Darren Ever. Hi, I'm Tim Lehman with Fanning Howie Associates. How much do you make yearly as an architect? Uh, an architect will probably start out um, straight out of college in the $35,000 range. And honestly, uh, depending on location where you're at and what type of design you're into, uh, can make anywhere from there uh, easily into six figures uh, or in excess of $100,000. And, and honestly, the sky's the limit depending on what type of firm you're with and what kind of marquee you bring with your name. What are the hours? Generally, um, architects work probably about 45 to, to 46 hours a week on average, maybe a little bit less than that. So. A little bit normal, more than your normal eight to five job, but uh, not really, really long hours typically. Are there any benefits to this job? Uh, for us, for me particularly, we design school buildings, and so the have the impact on the educational process, have the impact on the students, and and helping them get excited about learning is really a cool thing. So that that's a huge benefit for me for in this industry. What are the qualifications? Uh, architecture or engineering students for that matter, either one. Uh, typically, depending on how you want to go, uh, how far you want to go in the career, you could start out with doing things straight out of high school. Uh, if you've got some CAD experience or drafting experience, can work your way in to, to start maybe as an intern and get started there. Most of the students in architecture engineering schools, either one, go to a at least a four-year school. Uh, the architecture program now is all a five-year degree. You, you come out with your master's degree uh, to become, to put you on a path to become a licensed architect being able to practice on your own and sign your own drawings and those kind of things. Uh, engineering is five years as well, but you can do anything from, you know, straight out of high school to uh, a two-year career technical program, associate's degree, uh, or a four or five-year program in, in architecture or engineering, either one. What what should your interest be in this job? Uh, you have to be interested in working with other people. Um, it's a very collaborative process. Uh, when we do a design for a school project, we're really working with a particular school district to design a building for them. It's not about what we want to see. It's about what works for them. So we're really a tool. Uh, and we tr work a lot with them to try to understand what their desires are, what their opinions are, and how they would like to see the building come together. And then we do our best to put that together. So being very interested in working with other people collaboratively is, is a great thing to be interested in. What does the job entail? Um, I, I guess... A, Again, it, it goes a little bit from depending where you start and, and what you want to do, but we, we're involved with uh, conceptualizing the building, uh, determining what pieces and parts, what in, in our case, how many classrooms they need, uh, how many offices, gymnasiums, auditoriums, those kind of things, and how do those pieces and parts relate to each other. So the first piece is figuring that out and then putting those together and then from there, we, we work to go through the entire building. What does the exterior want to look like? What does the, uh, the floor finishes want to look like? What type of mechanical system is in there? Where do they need plumbing fixtures? Where do they need light fixtures? Uh, and all those things. So we work through all of that. And then as the building is under construction, then we also go out to the site and make sure that they're installing things the way that we had them designed. So that the owners actually getting what they paid for and what they're really looking for.
Are there any options? for promotions absolutely there's a a career path uh, throughout the firm uh, from anywhere starting out when I started here I started straight out of college and I was just a draftsman and all I did is somebody handed me markups I took those markups and put them in CAD um, and so from then I've I've moved up through to be designing my own projects to overseeing my department uh, there are people that, that I report to that, you know, would be the next likely position uh, all the way up to being one of the owners of the firm. So there's always a, a career path to advancement in there. Uh, what's the highest level you can achieve? Uh, the highest level you could achieve... Uh, in all likelihood in a normal career path would be owning your own firm uh, and, and being responsible for the day-to-day -day operation of that firm. Uh, how long is schooling for an architect? Uh, again, depends on, on really what level you want to get into it, but if you want to be a licensed architect or engineer, uh, it's at least four to five years, if not six years of college. Um, and then when you do that, once you get licensed, there are continuing education requirements every year. So you have to spend so many hours studying different techniques, different technologies, those kind of things, uh, how to run your business afterwards to maintain your licensure. So it's, a, it's an ever, ever learning on, always learning kind of career. All right. Thank you. Yep.